Okay, guys. We're back at it again. No. No. Shop side. The field trip part. So, child. Come with me. Oh. Okay, I'm about to say, so what the fuck? Okay. Alright, Team Blue. It's our time to start some exciting, to start some exciting getting to know you games. Why? So you can tear down my relationship some more? Jill, you're not exactly want someone I want to get to know in the first place. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. The first exercise is that everyone goes around and tells us one thing that they think no one knows about them. I'll start since I'm basically still a stranger to all of you. You're not a stranger, Dove. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. Let's keep it real, bitch. Sometimes I wish I knew more about my mom. My real mom. Uh, everybody said, oh, poor me. My mommy left when I was just a baby. Jill, I swear, if you keep coming at me after every sentence, I will knock it off you two. No, bitch, you knock it off, bitch. This is never going to work if you two aren't, um, if you two are at each other's throat the whole time. As the anger became bubbling to the surface, I remember that I saw Jill coming out of the social service office. Nobody goes into that building unless they're in some kind of trouble. Trust me, I would know. As much as I just liked Jill at that moment, I was just, uh, I wasn't going to out her. But I definitely wanted to know more about why she was at the social service office. Can someone go so Jill doesn't kill me with her death stare? <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> I've always wanted grills. Gills? <laughs> why would you want fucking gills? <laughs> you know, like a fish has... I would love to be able to swim underwater for a long time. <laughs> Why don't you just get a scuba gear? Cuz, how awesome would it be to have gills? You're fucking crazy. You've just learned, you just earned your, yourself a new nickname, Fish Boy. <laughs> Not you fucking Fish Boy. <laughs> they were acting like two kids fighting over her last piece of candy. The only thing is, the candy wasn't wasn't either of theirs to have. The candy was an independent woman that didn't need a child with sticky fingers to fight over her. Focus, Dove. <laughs> I would love to own my own bakery someday. I didn't know you liked to bake. You've never asked. <laughs> I was so deep in thought earlier that I didn't realize everyone in the group had already gone. Is this the rest of uh is this how the rest of the day is is going to go because if so I might actually die of boredom. I'm glad to see you're having such a great time, Jill. I don't understand the point of these stupid games. Jill, this exercise is to help you bond with your teammates. So when the final competition happens, you'll know you'll be more in sync. Teamwork is stupid. Teamwork makes the dream work, Jill. <laughs> the next activity is treasure hunt. We'll split you off into pairs and each of you uh, a treasure map. The first team back to the campsite will not have to participate in the final competition. That's right. The first pair to finish will get a free day to do whatever they want during the final competition. Oh, I'm so winning this. I hope Dove has the same attitude about winning as you do. What? Dove is my partner for this? Is there a problem with that bitch? Um, ah, uh, yes, it is. I'm just not so I'm just not sure if this is the best idea. <laughs> Jill and I don't exactly get along. Well, then this is the perfect situation for you. Bitch, being out in the wilderness, just the two of you, you'll get some real bonding down there, out there. No, bitch, or she might get her ass killed out there. Fucking great. Sean, you'll be working with Killian. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Miss Dixon, I thought we agreed on Sean working with um 
max for, for this. I changed my mind and thought Killian and Sean could, would make a great pair. That wasn't your call to make, was it, Rose? Sean, you'll be with Max. Sierra and Killian uh, will be together. Doesn't that defeat the pur the whole purpose of uh, mingling with the other well with the public schools? Fine, Sean and Killian are teammates, but don't come crying to me when it doesn't work out. Bitch, oh, so your son can be paired with somebody he like, but I can't. Bitch, kiss my balls, bitch. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Sean, you're with Killian. Mark's here with Sierra. Happy hunting. Okay, so, Rose, wait up. So, what about, um, what was that all about? Well, okay, fuck that. What about, um... Yana asked, who the fuck do Yana get with? With me and her? Okay, whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. You're telling me that exchange between you and Charles wasn't super awkward? Leave it alone, Duff. I mean it. All right, all right. I won't bring it up again. I'm all for relaxing. Oh, for a relaxing day on the beach, but is there a reason I don't have a partner? Oh, right. Yana, you are signed as a team leader. Your job is to sit here and wait until the first pair arrives and then come and find me in the hat master. You got it, boss. Have fun, Duff. I hate this bitch. Ready to start? Let's just get this over with. We have a map with our first location circle. We just need to figure out how to navigate there. Give it to me. It's telling us that we need to go north. I'm pretty sure it's pointed south. You must be holding the map upside down. I think I would know better than you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize they taught map reading classes in private schools. What, bitch, um, which way are we going to go? She said north. I said, did I say south? We're going to go south, bitch. Look, I know it's telling us to go south, so we're going south. A few hours later, it's been hours. We're definitely lost, you. If you hadn't forced us to go south, maybe we wouldn't be. This is not my fault. You're the one who said we should go towards the woods instead of by the lake. The map, the map has the first circle. Well, the first clue circle in the woods. We're never going to get out of here if we don't stop fighting. Jeez, why the hell do you hate me so much? Maybe it's because I don't want to end up like you. What are you talking about? I don't want to end up like some cold-hearted bitch because my family left me. Jill, what are you talking about? Well, what the hell are you talking about? I'm completely alone, Dove. I have no family, no money, nothing. My life is over. Slow down, Jill. What are you, you're not making any sense. I know you saw me at Carol's office. I didn't realize you saw me too. I knew you had an appointment with her right after me. I was trying to get out of there as fast as I could, but she kept talking. What were you going to do in there? Well, what were you doing in there? I was being placed with a foster family. Oh, a foster family? Uh-huh. Why on earth would you need a foster family? My family is gone. I got nothing. Where the fuck is your family going to without you, girl? What the fuck? I don't know if, 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 if it was... Uh, the exhaustion or dehydration, but I feel bad for Jill. <laughs> she looks so scarred and vulnerable. She proceeded to tell me her dad was accused of serious crime, of a ser of, of a series of crimes and uh, em embezzlement, criminal embezzlement. Um, all their accounts were frozen, and she had nothing left. Instead of turning himself in, him and Jill's mother fled the country and left her behind. Ain't that some bullshit? She had no idea where they were. Why would you leave me behind, bitch? She told me that she has no other family, none that are willing to take her in. The court decided that she was now a ward of the state and needed to be placed in foster care. She's going to be placed in a home soon as we get back to Philly. I'm sorry, Jill. I had no idea. I don't need you pitying me, Dove. I already... I'm already pathetic enough without the school's foster freak feeling sorry for me. Wow, and here I was thinking we were having a moment. We Well, we weren't. And if you tell anyone about this, 
I won't, I promise. I mean it, duh. Not even Sean. He deserves to know Jill. He'll want to help you. He is your boyfriend after all, which is exactly why I don't need him finding out about this. He thinks of me as some perfect girl with a perfect family. I want I want it to stay that way. How long do you think you're going to be able to keep that up? People are going to find out. No, they won't. As long as you keep your mouth shut. And how do you suppose you're going to pay for school? With daddy's money locked away and you've got nothing. School was paid in full in the beginning of the year. And when I'm done, I graduate. Well, you're going to, uh, you're never going to pull it off, Jill. I'm not asking for your help, Dove. You just need to keep your big mouth shut. Hey, don't make fun of my mouth. <laughs> I happen to be very fond of my big lips. Please promise me, Dove. This is the only thing I'll ever ask from you. Fine. I won't say a word. Now, come on. We need to get out of the, these woods. All right, now I'm starting to get worried. You think it was a fight to the death and no one made it out alive? Not helping, Sierra. <laughs> Oh come on! Don't tell me you're not go you're not dying to see Jill get her ass handed to her by Dove. I actually don't wish that on my girlfriend. Glad to know you still defend me. you still defend me. Welcome back, ladies. I take you were not the first pair to come back. Sorry, sweetie, not by a long shot. <laughs> well, who do I owe the uh the shiny crown to then? That will be yours truly and his trusty sidekick, Fish Boy. <laughs> I'm calling this nigga Fish Boy, bruh. I'm calling him Fish Boy for the rest of, honey. Well, congratulations to the both of you. <laughs> well, you know what this is called for, calls for, right? Party time. Heck, you know. You took my advice. As team leader, I had plenty of free time to spread the word. Um, party at the girls' cabin as soon as Miss Dixon is knocked out for the night. <laughs> well then, I think it's time to go get ready. <laughs> so what are you planning on wearing tonight? I'm going to wear this. Yeah, it's a party. You should wear something fun and festive. What exactly do you know about being fun and festive? I may not be rainbows and sunshine all the time, but I do know how to party. Let me look through your clothes. I'll pick out the perfect outfit for you. Fine, but I'm trusting you. I won't let you down. Girl, you better pick out something cute too, girl. Here, wear this. What do you think? I love it, y'all. All right, your turn. Let's see. Girl, cause you only got two pair of outfits. Like it? Love it. The black lace pair with the jeans is sexy yet subtle. I've got another option. Mm. Yes! It's not fair that you look good in basically anything. <laughs> yeah, right. Bitch, let's go with the beige, bitch. All right. I'm feeling this little beige number you got on, girl. Beige outfit it is, honey. <laughs> I should do something to my hair. Um, I hate a messy bun, bitch. I hate a messy bun. But we gonna go with the messy bun because she always wear her fucking hair straight anyway. We should probably get outside, yeah. It's cute with the outfit anyway. People should be here any minute. Hey, 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 turn the pay. Looks like the party started without us. Not really, no party can start without you, Dove. What are you two talking about? Are you just talking about what a beautiful night it was? What is Killing you doing over there all along? Doing what Killian does best, being <laughs> being a creepy loner <laughs> lurking in the back. <laughs> Got anything to drink around here? Drinks are inside. 
Just be quiet until you're in there. I don't want to wake Rose up. I can show you guys. Uh, great, thanks. But well, it's whatever. Coming, Dove. I'll catch up with you guys later. Yeah, go talk to Killian's ass. What are you doing over, over here all by your lonesome? <sighs> Just need some fresh air. While um, simultaneously filling your lungs with tox toxins. Um, how can you be so judgmental if you smoke too? One of my many charming qualities. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> you having fun? Define fun. <laughs> Oh, come on. It hasn't been that bad. You aren't one to... Wait, you aren't the one who had to truck through the woods with Fish Boy over here. <laughs> Stop calling him fucking Fish Boy. <laughs> this shit is stressing me out. I don't know why, but I really wanted to see those two get along. Um, I have no idea why they can... Why they give each other such a hard time, bitch. I had a feeling that there was more to the story than many of us knew. You know, I don't think he's a big fan of uh, that nickname. I don't think he's a big fan of me either. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> he's really not that bad. You like him or something? I like him as a friend. Not as a friend. Uh... First off, rude. Don't interrupt me when you're the one who's asking, who asks me a question. And second, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't like Sean. Right? No. You ever been in love before, Dove? Where did that come from? Just a thought. Have you ever been in love before, Dove? Bitch, I know. The question echoed through my mind over and over again. Truth is, I don't know. Then no, bitch, you haven't. <laughs> I thought I was in love with Jordan, but all the truth, but all I ever truly felt with him, it was pain and confusion. I don't think love is supposed to feel like that. No, I haven't. I could feel him trying to figure me out the way I, he always did. He looked me up and down, then back to my eyes. Okay, he was checking the bot out, hot to bots. <laughs> it was like he was trying to peer into my soul. Like he just wanted to know every part of me, and that terrified me. For the first time, I was starting to feel self-conscious around him. Actually, no, that's not the first time, girl, but whatever. Because he was, really make, because he was making me feel uncomfortable because... I was feeling vulnerable. And that's not something I'm used to. The tension was building around us. If I didn't say something soon, the gate the floodgates were going to open. I would prob I should probably go find Yana. Duh. Okay, bitch. Alright. Alright. Before I knew what was happening, he grabbed me by my shirt and then pulled me in. He placed both of his hands on my hips and spun me around. He wrapped his hands around the back of my neck and, well, the back of my neck with his other hand plastered to my waist and pulled me in. He crashed his lips into mine and kissed me passionately. Everything happened in a blink of an eye. I had no time to react. His lips were so soft and warm and reacted to every touch. Um, I was confused and had no idea what had no idea if this is what I wanted. Bitch, continue, girl. Shit. He placed his hand on the small of my back and pulled me in even closer. I gripped the, the collar of his jacket and pulled him into me. Heck, you know, I could feel every inch of his muscular torso pressed against my stomach and chest, child. <laughs> he brought his hands up to my face and struck my face with his thumb. Okay, girl, uh, are y'all about to, f I'm about to say, because wait, I don't have time for y'all to be doing it in the woods in front of everybody. I literally had to catch my breath. <laughs> he took a step toward me and leaned in so he could, so he was centimeters from my ear. I've been waiting to do that since the day I met you. Someone looks very unhappy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Seeing Sean look upset sent a chill through my body. Why did I care so much what he thought of me? I couldn't deal with him right now, and I was afraid of anything he would say to me. Either way, he had a bigger, he had bigger problems to deal with. Can I talk to you for a second, Dove? Oh my God! Why do you want to talk to me? 
alone. <laughs> She's all yours. I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> I see you and Killian are getting along nicely. I'm not in the mood to dance around the topic all night. I just didn't know you two were together. We're not, but I don't see how that's any of your business. I like you, duh. Sean, for the for like the hundredth time or the thousandth time, you have a freaking girlfriend. Do you think? Don't you think I know that? <laughs> I can't exactly stop myself from feeling this way, duh. It's not my problem, Sean. There was dead. Wait, there, uh, we were in a dead heat. Uh, either of us wanting to be the one to break the silence, not wanting to give into anger, not wanting to have some fight over and over. This is so pointless. You can say that again. Drew, what? Drew, what the fuck you doing here? First of all, how did you find me, sir? And what the fuck are you doing here? What the f he is, baby, Jordan is the ultimate stalker, baby. He didn't, first of all, he didn't broke in my house and found my ass after not seeing me for God knows how fucking long. <laughs> then, he just tracked my ass down in the woods. <laughs> Jordan, baby, he is the ultimate stalker, baby. Uh, you can't look, bitch. Ain't no hiding from him, honey. Oh, my God. He's so stalker-like. Okay, guys, that's it of that. I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs>